Hello and welcome to another video from My Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at something very old, very rare, and probably perhaps not in the best of conditions, but it is still a very, very collectible item. We are looking at the 1965 release by AP Films as part of their series of Jerry Anderson uh, storybooks. Now, back in the 60s, they used to produce television storybooks. It, um, I think mid June, earlier parts of the year, maybe towards Easter time, and then at the end of the year they produced the annuals, uh, which was for Christmas. So this is a television story book which would have been produced near the front of the of the new year, rather than towards the end when the uh, the annuals were produced. Um, and this particular one is all based on Jerry Anderson's famous television show Stingray, and this is the book in front of us, and it says Stingray television story book. And there you can see an image of Troy Tempest phones, uh, Marina and the crew of Wasp. And it says a TV Century 21 book. And you see, you see the big Stingray submarine um, zooming underwater. Okay, that's the front of the book. As we whiz it around the back, we're, we've got pretty much the same on the back as they all did back in, these, in the day uh, like this. So it's got Stingray, television story book, a TV Century 21 book. And again, you've got the same images of, of the crew, Troy Tempest and his crew of Wasp uh, and the Stingray um, submarine plunging under the ocean. OK, let's just turn it to the side um, and you can see again, it's got Stingray television uh, storybook. Now, this one has had a little bit of damage at the end here. The paper covering of the spline has actually been torn off at the bottom there and it's beginning to fray at the top there. Um, but for something that is almost 60 years old it can be excused for having a little bit of cosmetic damage okay that's the front of the book let's open it up and have a look on the inside okay so i've opened the, the front cover up and here you can see again you've got stingray diving underwater and there's um underwater caverns and there's a terror fish um there which was from the uh, evil amphibians um titans um people um, now, this particular book has had a name wrote into it, um, which is Tony Anslow um, from Leeds. Um, so that was obviously put in there back in the 1965-66 time. Okay, so that's the inside of the front cover. And it says, copyright 1965 by AP Films Merchandising Limited, all rights reserved throughout the world. Published in Great Britain by PBS Limited, by arrangements with AP Films Merchandising Limited, and it's printed in the Netherlands. And it says Stingray's Television Storybook, and there you've got an image of Tempest, uh, Phones, and Marina, and the um, Stingray submarine. Okay, let's move over to the next page, and there we've got the contents. So we've got Mystery from Space, Toy Divers, Course of, Dest of Destruction, uh, Lost Island, the Iceberg People, Guess Who, and Titan Bates a Trap. Now, all of the stories in these books, obviously they're original stories, they were wrote specifically for this um, these books. Um, and obviously the, these stories have not been seen anywhere else. They weren't in um, on television or anything like that. I don't know whether some of them appeared in any of the Stingray annuals. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I can tell you that they were originally wrote specifically for this television storybook. Okay, so the first story we've got is Mystery from Space. And this is a, a full original story. Um, again, it's with full colour illustrations, as you can see. And the illustrations, I've got to say, are absolutely fabulous. Uh, the artwork is amazing. Um, for something from 60 years ago, the colours are still so vibrant and the, the, the drawings were just phenomenal. So yeah, very, very good um, drawings. Um, and good stories as well, actually. And they weren't short, specifically short stories. They were quite uh, lengthy in comparison, really, to the annuals you get these days. Uh, the stories are only a few pages, but these ones were, were quite um, quite long. Um, okay, and then we come to Toy Divers. And this is an activity for you, so you can make your own uh, diving toys. Uh, it tells you exactly how to do them and to put them in a bottle. And, and it's all based on the buoyancy um, of the model that you make so they they sink down to the bottom um by with the cork that you put into the bottle depending on what pressure you're pushing in the more you release the 
cork the the less pressure the more you push it in the, the more pressure so um that's how they work but you can make that yourself and it tells you exactly um how to do that and then we come on to the first comic strip story and again it's a com it's a color comic original color strip story and it's called course of destruction and obviously it features um wasp Troy Tempers, Phones, uh, Stingray, and they're battling the Titans, um, the amphibians from um, under the command of Titan. Um, so that's quite a short uh, comic strip story. And then we come on to the next full story, which is Lost Island. And again, it's the, um, the crew of Wasp commanded by Commander Shaw, um, Troy Tempers, Marina, and so on, Phones and so on. Um, and again, it's a full original story with fantastic color artwork um images and look at that full page one there terrific but i say the the, the stories were quite long um good in-depth stories into these ones so not short rubbish but very very good stories and every single um t t turn of the page there's another fantastic image and then we come on to the second comic strip with the book it's called the iceberg people um, and again, it's another full colour comic strip um, featuring the Wasp crew. And so the comic strips are not very long. They're just standard length comic strips. And then we've got Guess Who, which was a kind of like a, um, a crossword. So I'm, I'm assuming that you have to um, fill in the... No, I can't see any questions anywhere. So it's all probably all based around the pictures. So... Um, Number one is Phones. Um, number two is Tempest. And so on. So um, then you've got Stingray running down there, which is number three. So where's number four? I can't see number four. But anyway, so the oh number four is Troy Tempest, of course. Um, so there, there you got you've got the whole you, you've got a guess from the images of what those words were. Um, and so on. So then we come on to the next um, story, which is Titan Baits a Trap. I think this is the final story in the book. And it, again, it is a full original story with some amazing colour illustrations. Um, pretty much every turn of the page, there is a very, very good colour illustration. Um, and that I think that takes us to the final story. That is the final story. Um, again, another full page colour illustration there. And there is Stingray blasting away the, uh, the whatever that is. Um, and it says, the, the, you've got the answers to guess who there. So that's all the, the, that uh, crossword thing. But it had already been filled in anyway. But the answers are there. And then we're on to the back page again, which is exactly the same as inside the front cover. Okay, so that is the... Stingray television storybook from 1965. Now, how well do these books do? Well, I mean, these books, as I say, they were produced earlier in the year, probably to keep you um, engrossed in your TV series. Obviously, the big annuals were produced at the end of the year, um, September, October, November time for the Christmas period. And these ones were produced earlier in the year. But I think they were around about um, Easter time. Uh, in order to keep you engrossed in your TV show. And Easter, obviously, people get presents at Easter. Uh, it wasn't just eggs. People give gifts as well. So um, I think that was the, the whole point of them being coming out. But obviously, they didn't want to do a, an, an annual because the annual comes later in the year. So they, they called these television storybooks. And there was lots of them produced for all the different television series, the popular TV series. Um, we've done quite a few on uh, other TV. We've done the the Doctor Who ones, we've done the Star Trek ones, there's there's many, many others um, that were done over the course of the years. So, um, so yeah, I mean, they're, they're basically a fill-in before the annuals um, come out. Um, and they're obviously, they're much smaller than the annuals as well. They're half the size of the annuals. So, um, so they were cheaper, not as expensive as Christmas, because obviously they could charge more money at Christmas for the books and make it a bit more uh, appealing to everybody. Um, so yes, they would have done as well, but obviously not as well as the Christmas ones because this was a stopgap in between the two. Um, but they were cheaper, 
and they were half the size. So yes, they still managed to sell quite a lot of these um, books. But these television storybooks are nowhere near as easy to find as annuals. Um, so the, the annuals were mass produced at the end of the year. Um, the television storybooks were not as quantities produced as what the annuals were. So they, a lot of them, in fact, most of them, in fact, have not survived the test of time. Uh, they all end up with damage. This one's got some damage on on the outside, but inside it is in fantastic condition, as you saw. Um, apart from the, the, the name just in the front cover and the fact that the quiz has been filled in in ink. Other than that, it's still in fantastic condition. Um, and very, very hard to find these. This particular one, this Stingray uh, television storybook, very, very difficult to find. Hardly ever comes up on the platforms because it is that rare book, if you like, one of those very, very rare ones. Um, as, as, as I say, not many of them have survived the test of time. Um, but this one obviously has, even though it has had suffered some damage on the way. But this particular one is available to purchase on the My Such website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Jerry Anderson items. And many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on our website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I'm absolutely positive that you're not going to want to miss this. Because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, Something old that you've never been able to find. Something quirky you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned. Keep watching because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. OK, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching and we will see you again next time.